Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video is from the Texas Off-Road Invitational where I get to test drive actually quite a few different off-road machines. I'm gonna start off with the absolute best one of the bunch. This is a 2023 Ram 1500 TRX Havoc Edition. Uh, that's a limited production vehicle. In the world, there are only 875 Havoc TRXs. Additionally, this is a Hennessy Mammoth 1000 truck, which means that it has 1,007 horsepower and has been seriously modified by Hennessy out of Sealy, Texas. This truck is one of 10 Havocs that they modified. It is $200,000 and it is the best truck in the world. This is a Havoc Edition, which is one of 875. Hennessy only made 200 Mammoth 1000s, and only 10 of those were made on the Havoc platform. It has 1,007 horsepower and 969 pound-feet of torque. This truck is outfitted with a bigger upgraded high-flow supercharger, upgraded supercharger pulleys and belt, upgraded fuel injectors and spark plugs and filters, as well as a proprietary Hennessy engine computer tune. It also has this sweet Mammoth 1000 rear bumper, larger 37 inch off-road tires compared to the stock 34 and a half. It has a two inch lift and larger ventilated brakes compared to the stock truck. On the front here, you can also see that it has the Mammoth 1000 custom front bumper with all the LED lights. Here in just a minute, I'll actually have it parked right next to a stock TRX and you'll get to see exactly how different it looks from the original. And I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't quite sure what my thoughts would be on a macaroni colored truck, but I absolutely love it and I think I have to have one. Let's go inside now. Another upgrade that they added is these amp power steps, which this doesn't have since Havocs are only a level two interior. All the carbon fiber and the yellow stitching that you can see on this interior are Havoc Edition features. There's a lot more here, as well as the Hennessy badge, which is an extra on the headrest right there. And here we've got the TRX badge, which they all have, but this is special for the Havoc Edition. It's one of 200. It has the VIN and the horsepower, as well as a few other informational bits. Plus the TRX button for the modes and the launch button. I'm sorry that I'm so sweaty. It is ridiculously hot out here. It is more humid than College Station, I think, has ever been. And it's like 95 degrees with absolutely no shade. So I'm sorry for my appearance. Um, uh, but I'm out here just trying to get some content for you. So this is my dream truck, favorite in the world. It's a $200,000 truck that we are sitting in, and yes, it is for sale. No, I'm not buying it. Right now, it's pulling up next to a stock TRX, and we'll get to compare and see exactly what they look like side by side. You'll also get to hear what it sounds like side by side, and that's probably the most exciting part of this whole thing. You can even hear how good it sounds right now. You can see here that the hood and the wheels are much higher up on the Havoc than on the stock Hydro Blue. I love Hydro Blue, but it's really hard to argue with this Havoc Edition. It just looks so awesome. Now let's hear them both. now this is pretty crazy but we're heading off to do some trail driving and yeah i actually do get to drive this one on some trails they're pretty mild trails but i'm driving my dream truck that's two hundred thousand dollars off road with hennessy here it comes right now you can probably hear and see it coming this is what it looks like and sounds like from the outside get ready to see what it looks and sounds like from the inside I'm sorry this footage isn't the best and we muted the audio because we were discussing gas prices in California, which isn't exactly the most interesting thing in the world. Uh, but you can see here we've got a decent incline on the trail. I know it's a little bit hard to tell from the camera. But really, this isn't the most intense trail in the world. Obviously, they didn't want me to be off-roading a $200,000 truck that still needs to be sold to a customer on intense off-road trails, so this is pretty basic. Just a lot of bumps, tight turns, but nothing too crazy. 
Although, in just a second, I do get to launch it through a pond, which is pretty fun. You can see right here, I'm sorry the footage is shaky. I was biting a pop socket in my mouth while driving this. I'm gonna try and patch in some exterior footage. I know there's some out there, there were people recording. I thought this clip of all the rocks and the water dripping off the truck and being on the running boards was pretty sweet. And you can see right here, the monster 37 inch Toyos that I was talking about earlier, dripping in muddy pond water, which is great. And now it's time for round two, here we go. Coming around for another run through the pond just because it was fun. That truck really did a number on the pond. Look at how much water it displaced. I think it rushing all back in looks really cool. Uh, I'm good if you are, Chase. All right. Great, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> now, obviously, this truck is not exactly meant for the tight turn type of trails that we were doing, but it was still a lot of fun, and you could feel the difference from the stock TRX to this one pretty obviously. I'm not exactly sure how I ended up doing something like this on a random Wednesday afternoon, but this was so much fun. Thanks to the Texas Motor Press Association in cool. Tennessee for having me out. You guys, this is actually crazy. There could not be a truck in the world that is more my favorite truck than this exact one here. This is a one of 10 Havoc Hennessy Mammoth. I've got to have one. So if anybody's got a spare couple hundred thousand laying around, please let me know. I hope you guys liked the off-road content. That's something that I've never done before, but I actually had a ton of fun and I'd love to do that more. I'm sorry that this wasn't exactly the greatest driving review in the world. I'm not a professional off-roader or a professional car reviewer. It was just a really awesome day and an amazing truck, so I felt like I had to document it. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it, and I'd love to do it again. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I had a ton of fun and I'm going to have a couple of more videos like this about some other things that I got to drive and a little bit of comparison as well. So if you want to tune in, please subscribe. If you liked the video, please like the video and thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.